months bringing kids together during a week of, of coding, building apps, finding problems to solve, and solving those problems with, with software and with data. You know, they've emerged from day one fully formed with ideas. We've got a, a carbon footprint, group building an app to help you map the route with the lowest carbon footprint. Or oh, you should have walked instead of taking this bus in a certain area and it would have introduced your carbon footprint overall. So it's, it's going to be very good. <laughs> Joseph downstairs doing lexical analysis on Wikipedia articles to work out what future articles might be good ones to feature automatically. We've got a mashup of police and geographical data, a virus spreading analysis project, which is a, is a great project. The youngest is seven and the oldest is 18. We got data from an American high school where they had the interactions between people throughout the day and trying to see how, if, we ha if one person had a virus at the start of the day, how it would spread throughout the school and whether we could see it going through groups of like friendship groups or something like that. I came last year and it was really fun. I just wanted to learn more because the mentors here are really helpful as well. We've been working together on this project. He's been mentoring me, helping me develop my skills in JavaScript, CSS and PHP. There's a lot going on around Manchester at the moment and especially things like YRS. It, it gets people to meet people who are actually in the industry and find out how things actually work from that sense of things. So I think getting more children and young people involved together in these sort of centres is fantastic. I helped with the first YRS back in 2009, getting young people down to London. And since then, I've helped organize the center here at MadLab for the past four years. So I'm here at uh, YRS 2013 because I worked as a mentor at Young Rewired State in New York City. Uh, and we had an opportunity to do a bunch of lightning talks that they found was really helpful. So I've been going around to different centers. It's one of those things everyone comes with different sort of experiences. And um, especially with HTML CSS, there's so much stuff on the internet that I mean you can you can go and try and teach yourself but it's hard to try and pick out what you should actually be focusing on. It's fundamentally important for young people to learn to code. I think it's something that's missing from school curriculum. In a situation like this they're kind of being helped by the peers, they're seeing that there's other people like them that are interested in coding that it's not just measuring against you know, potential exam results or something like that. What I've been really impressed by is the advanced teams are extremely advanced. There's a gentleman here who is writing a natural language processing library for Go, which is a language that's about three months old. I'm just baffled. Like, it's simply amazing. Like, if only something like this existed when I was this age. This year, locally, it's twice as big as it was last year. So we've got around 60 young people involved in three different centers. My, kind of my real interest is getting kids really into coding and developing and software engineering, getting them infused in, in, in that as a career. We're working on a nut allergy database. A nut allergy database? Yes, so explain a little bit about why you've gone for the nut allergy database. I think it's because we all just wanted to help people. Yeah. I looked on the website and um, it said that you could make your own apps and I like getting apps on my iPod and I want to make my own apps. And there is a lot of skill here, definitely. There's a lot, like, definitely past my level of technical ability in terms of coding. I mean, they're brilliant, these guys. Um, so many great ideas, though, as well. And that's the really, like, inspiring thing. I saw a video on YouTube, and it was two girls who had come to this, and they said that um, it was really good because, like, when they went to their friends, and their friends were, like, were saying stuff, um, like, I wish there was an app for this, they could try and make it after the app and went the course and things like that, so I thought it'd be pretty cool. There's an idea I've just been involved in now, which is that kind of a random act of kindness database and uh, social kind of experience. It's called Pins of Kindness, and what you do, you've done, if you do a random act of kindness, you tweet each other hashtag and then our our app will then grab the tweet the actual tweeters then get like little like badges and stuff yeah. on their page on their user page on our site there are so many fantastic projects and so many fantastic groups and centers it, who, who cares who wins i think it was alan Kay from xerox park he said you know the best way to predict the future is to invent it and right now, this week, in Festival of Code, kids all around the country are inventing the future. So it doesn't matter who wins, we all win. 
really fun last year. I um, I really enjoyed watching all the presentations. Like all the all the presentations are so impressive. Maniacs and X Factor, where you say, I'm better than Madonna, I'm better than Rihanna, I'm better than Justin Bieber. I don't want to be like that, but. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, without. Yeah, I don't actually, want to no be like that. Us, no, we'll this wouldn't work. Anyone in here from the north of England? <laughs> Really, really happy that we got to this point over this week. We would never have imagined it had gone this well. We'd have this much fun, or it's it's just kind of like a true good truth from our vision of how it would be today on Monday. It was it was surprising. I wasn't actually expecting to get up. Like I didn't even have my laptop charged. I had to rush to get my laptop charged before we had to go off. But um, it was nerve wracking but exciting. I don't think we'll win that, but the experience was the experience was so great. That's that's the reward really. And just getting the recognition, being able to show a presentation in front of so many people. Contagio, you are our past winners. <laughs> Every time a tweet came up, we were like, is it us? No, it's a different team getting it announced. And then Billy's team, the other team, they got announced they hadn't won. So we're like, oh, and then we're like, oh, if they haven't won, we, we're not going to win. And then it went, and then it got to the fourth tweet, and then DJ was like, <laughs> and I thought he was angry because he hadn't won. And then Stephen was like, you should read this, Ed. And then we were like, <gasps> and then like, I just started kind of like dancing in the aisle of the coach. And then, then the bus driver was like, will you please sit down? And since it's going to be my last year, well, it is my last year, um, winning was like the best feeling ever. <laughs> I, I, it really did make my summer. I was like, yeah, um, yeah thanks to you guys. I yeah. had loads of fun. It was just priceless. Um, I was having a barbecue um, with all my family and, and then like I, I was just sitting there really excited and, and, and I was just looking at Twitter on my phone pulling, pulling it up constantly and refreshing it and then keep pulling it up, oh yes, it's the winners, best of code and I was like quickly read through all of this and then, and then I just spotted Contagio and I was like <laughs> yeah, when you have all these friends and you have all the mentors you can go to to ask, it's, this progress happens much quicker, so it's not as disheartening, so it's very encouraging, especially for new programmers, because it's just so much easier to get into it. And the plan is to let me polish it up a bit, bit more, to send it to the, the Stanford group who actually did the, re did the research at the start and say, hey, we built this based off your stuff, you might find it cool. I'm just so proud and excited to know that Contagion won the best use of code. Um, I was really inspired by the work they did. They worked ex incredibly collaboratively and they really achieved some excellent things. From losing last year, that's made me win this year. <laughs> Contagion! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs>